Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Welcome to my video today and thank you for joining me. And if you're new to me, then welcome. And I hope you'll enjoy today's video. No project today, no stamping, no die cutting, no punching, um, no nothing. We're gonna be talking about, because this is the next one of my card making for beginners series. And today we're gonna to be talking all about adhesives and the adhesives that you need and the adhesives which probably you can live without but you might want to know what they are and you might well, you might like them it's all very personal um choice of adhesive some people love one thing some people love another um and i'm just going to go through and tell you what i think would be the best um best adhesives for you to use so um got a whole range of adhesives here i'm going to move them out of the way all our adhesives um are very handily on one page of the catalogue so page 162 of the annual catalogue you will find a whole page of adhesives set adhesives for the top we've got adhesive sheet sheets fine tip glue glue pen multi-purpose liquid glue mini glue dots tear and tape adhesives stamping seal stamping seal plus foam adhesive strips stamping dimensionals black stamping dimensionals, foam adhesives and cling adhesives. So a whole load of things there for sticking things, but which ones do you need and which ones do you not really need or you might not need them quite yet. So let's have a look. Now I'm gonna go through them in the order that I think they're most important and the ones that I prefer to use. P really personal choice though this. So if, you, if this doesn't, you know, if you like something else, that's fine. But for me, the most important glue to have, some people call this green glue. Um, it's actually Tombow Multi-Purpose um, Liquid Glue. I think that's what it's called. Um, I just call it Tombow glue, really. Um, but it is, it's multi-purpose liquid glue. Um, and it's great. It's um, the, the reason I love it, and I'm just going to give you a little demonstration here. I've got a card here that I've been waiting to just glue the inside panel in. And like that. Um, and this, this glue is great because it has a very fine no nozzle at one end here. And if you're very careful, this is going to come out. You can get a very fine line and you don't get lots of gloopy dots. Um, or alternatively, you can undo the other end and this has a sort of spreader with it, which is really useful. Now, a lot of you will have seen me spreading with a cocktail stick, but if you want to do this, this is really useful. So you can spread your glue out to get a very fine layer, which is brilliant. So, and the, the reason I love liquid glue so much is because you get a bit of wiggle time. You get a bit of time, you don't, it won't adhere immediately, instantly. It will give you a little bit of time to remove and replace if you don't get it right straight away. So I can put this on here and then I can look and think, oh, that's not quite right. And I could peel it off again and um, stick it down again so there we go just stick that in there beautiful and actually you might see i've got a tiny smudge there of glue and what you can do what's the other brilliant thing about tombow glue is if you just bring in a normal eraser and just rub it you can get rid of those glue can you see i don't know how well you could see that before but that's removed that um little splodge of glue which is great because I am a bit of a messy crafter so um so that for me that is great so for me number one if you were only going to buy one adhesive another splodge up here I don't know how I, how I managed to make it so messy it would be this now th this is this is a I think it's a type of PVA but it's not a PVA I don't think it's called PVA um but you can buy, um, you can go in, if you're in the UK, you can go into Hobbycraft or a store like that and you can buy PVA glue. The problem is you have to be really careful because a lot of them are very watery. And if you use, if you use them on not, not good quality card or even on our card, it might tend to bend and warp if you use those glues. So you might save some money because this Tombow, um, let me see, how much is it? 
it's now 450 so it's not cheap i appreciate that that's quite a big price for just an adhesive but it does last forever i've been using this one for, for what seems forever and it's still not run out um and if you buy the cheap adhesive you're going to end up having to buy something else as, again because it won't be up, up to the job so um up to you but that's my that's my go-to glue that's my favorite glue um, now, what else have we got? What else would I say you need to have in your collection? Now, you do need to have some stamping dimensionals. We have them in two sizes and two colours now. So I don't know how well you can see. I'll just open this packet. This is a brand new packet. Got our old, our old um, logo on it. You can see how long I've had these. And um, I don't know if you can see these. You see the honeycomb pattern there? You know, the light catch that. So these are quite small um, little pads to put behind die cut pieces or punched pieces to give a bit of dimension to your work. And it really will add a lot to your cards to be doing that. Um, they've got a, a thin coating on this side, which you can peel off with either a pokey tool or tweezers as I do. So they're sticky on both sides. So they're great. They're the mini ones. Um, they're quite. They uh, if you had if you had to choose to buy one, I would buy the minis because they are. You can use them for most things. I can't be bothered to put that back in there. Um, the bigger ones. They are useful as well. If you're gluing on bigger things, it is quite useful to have some larger ones. And you can cut them up. So. Um, if, if you wanted to buy just one and buy the bigger ones and then cut them into smaller pieces, that's fine too. Let me just get one of these off here so you can see the, the comparative size. So you can see that's a bit bigger than the other one, but they're very easy to cut. You can just slice through them with your scissors, your paper snips, and you can cut. So you could cut that one into small fall of smaller pieces. So I guess having said that I'd have the minis, maybe I wouldn't, maybe I'd have the larger ones and just cut them up. And also what you can do, I don't know if you can see, but there's quite a big, there's a border and you can cut all those bits of the border up to use as well. I always, I never waste anything from my packs of dimensionals. They are also available in black. Now, I haven't ever had a reason to need black ones, so I haven't bought any. If you're working a lot with black card and dark colours, it might be good to have them. But actually, these are hidden anyway. You don't really see them. So I'm not sure that you'd, I wouldn't put them. But I definitely would put a pack of dimensionals on the top of my list. So I would have Tombow glue and dimensionals as my two first choices. If I then still had some money to spend, I would then buy tear and tape. This is a double-sided tape and it's sticky on one side and got a paper backing on the other you peel you can tear it off it tears very very easily you can stick that on a project i haven't got any spare bits of card here with me today hang on let me find a little bit of card oh here we go a little bit of real red so if i stick that there obviously not how i would use it but just to demonstrate and then stick this. Now the disadvantage with this is that you won't get a second chance. Once it's stuck, it's stuck and it will be very hard to lift it up again. So you have to make sure that you position it exactly where you want it and then that's stuck. And you can see that's not gonna come apart at all. So very strong adhesive. Now what I use tear and tape for mostly, I do use it when I'm making 3D items if I don't want the mess of Tombow glue and if I'm filming I sometimes don't have time to wait for the Tombow to dry um, but I also use it for adhering um, ribbon down as well so just a little bit of this on your cardstock and then place your ribbon on top it works perfectly with most ribbons so unless they're very thin or they're very see-through um, so that would be my next go-to glue would be the tear and tape I just wanted to show you the front of this card. You can have a little sneak peek. This won't be going out on my video channel quite yet. Um, but I've used three sorts of adhesive on here. I've glued the panels down here with the Tombow, the multi-purpose glue. I've glued my ribbons down with the tear and tape. And then I've mounted my message on dimensionals. So those are the three. Like I say, those are the three types of glue that I use the most. Next up 
would be the mini glue dots. So these are tiny, tiny, and I don't know how well you can see that. Let me stand up and see if I can bring that to the camera so that you can see it. Can you see how tiny? My, I can't see whether that's focused or not. Um, they're, they're about five, half a centimetre across or quarter of an inch across. So those are tiny, but those are great for um, sticking things like bows down or embellishments. And they really hold really, really well. Um, and they're a really great thing. So I do, I always have a pack of those on the go um, and find them quite useful. Um, so you might want to think about those, but they wouldn't be top of my list. My wouldn't be my top three. That's my fourth choice. Now, all these others um, we've got, got some that I wouldn't really recommend, a couple that I wouldn't really recommend. Let's get them out of the way first. The fine tip glue pen is great, but it's quite expensive. Fine tip glue, let me find it. 650. Um, and really it doesn't do much that the Tombow doesn't do. It has got a really lovely fine thing. So if you want to, if you need really fine, can you see how fine that is it's just like a needle um so it is very fine you do have to be really careful with it though so you don't get the glue dried in it and block it um so i don't use that an awful lot it's not one of my go-to glues but it's nice to have um in your collection um but like i say it's not it's not one that i would recommend for beginners who need to to consider their budget um, now the next two I'm going to show you are our new stamping seals now in the past we've had fast fuse and we've had snail and they're all these sort of cassette type um, adhesive runners runner tape I'm not a lover of them I don't find them very easy to use and I find them quite expensive um, if you do use them a lot because they run out um, again I'll get a piece of card and just show you can't even get the top off here. Yeah, about, yeah, about to show you the. There we go. Um, and this will probably be a disaster because I haven't practiced with this. So you just run it. So you see, it's not. You might have to move it with your finger to get it to where the adhesive is. Just run it along. Now, did you see how that sort of ballooned out there? And can you see? Can you see it's on there? It's not quite a full tape. I just haven't got the knack for doing this. And again, it's not quite there. Move it round. I'm sure if I used them more, I would get more used to them, but I don't know. And again, it's quite a permanent fast seal. So if I stick that, you've got to get it in the right place at the right time. And then all oh, that's that's just gonna prove me wrong. I think you need to let it set just a little bit and then it will be permanent. So maybe you could remove it if you stick it oh that actually that's coming away quite well so maybe it's not that permanent straight away after saying that so maybe you could get a little bit of wiggle room with that and like i say i'm not i'm not the person to ask really because i'm not a great lover of these i have bought one one you can see i bought one of each but um haven't yet used them so that's the stamping seal now the stamping seal plus is apparently much stronger so let's put the lid back on this one and let's take the lid off. I don't know if that's meant to flick up or whether it does remove completely. I think it removes. This one is actually easier to use than the other one because it's like lots and lots of little lines of glue. And so it cuts off quite easily there. And if I close this, now this is meant to be much stronger. Now again, I don't know whether you need just need to leave it a few minutes to, to make the bond really strong or whether that is going to be bonded already, or oh, that's much harder to get apart. And I think if you were doing that on a card, you'd probably ruin your card in getting that apart. And I'm sure if I came back to it, I'm going to leave those there and we'll come back to them at the end and see how um, how stuck they are. So those are those, and they're not cheap either. These are, I can't get the lid back on now. Um, these are, um, 750 for stamp and seal and 1125 for stamp and seal plus like i say would not be on top of the list that i would give a beginner to say you must have these although if you get in a real mess with the tombow 
they might be something worth considering because the Katombo can be quite messy. And if you don't like that mess and you can't cope with it, then these are these are relatively mess free. Um, right. OK, what else have we got? Right. We've got some foam sheets and some foam strips. So these were much longer, these strips. These filled this package and I've cut them down. And these are great if you want to make um, shaker cards. They're, bit, they're, they're just like dimensionals, except they're strips instead of, um, instead of shapes, instead of hexagons. And they're a bit thicker. Can you see the dimensionals? If I let you compare. The dimensionals are about, I would say about two millimetres thick. This is more like three, three and a half millimetres thick. So they're a little bit thicker. And I just wanted to take one off to just show you the size. If I can get it, there we go. Can you see, that's how, that's how thick they are. So they're quite useful. I tell you what I did find them quite useful for was the playful um, alphabet for putting behind those letters. They work quite well because you can put, cut a strip the size of the letter and put that on and it just means they're they're really stuck quite solidly so those are quite useful also useful for shaker cards like I said if you want to do a, a little container on your card and then fill it with sequins or something that would be a really good um, thing to have so I do like having them in my collection wouldn't want to be without those and then these which are new in our catalogue this time I think I'm right in saying Oh, where are they? So oh, yes, foam sheet. These are just like dimensionals, except they've not been cut. These are just um, just plain adhesive foam sheets. So what you can do is peel off this backing, stick a piece of cardstock on it, and then you can put the whole thing through your die cutter and then peel off the backing and the whole thing will have adhesive on it. So you'll get a, a, a die cut that's got dimension and you don't have to worry about what glue to use on it. So those, I'm looking forward to using those. Again, I'm looking forward to using those with the letters because I think those will actually give the letters some really nice dimension. So those are great, I like those. Um, and what else? Final one I think I've got here to show you is the adhesive sheets. So these are six by 12 sheets of double-sided adhesive. So like the tear and tape, except this is a sheet rather than tape, if I can get a sheet out. And again, it's got a, a covering on there. So what you do is peel off this covering, stick on your cardstock, put the whole thing through your die cutter with your die, and then your die will have adhesive all on the back. So you won't have to worry about gluing it with whatever, you know, if it's a very intricate die cut. Um, so that's um, those are quite um, useful as well. Um, but again, not essential. You can always use Tombow, which I quite often do on my even in, on intricate die cuts. I use my Tombow and a cocktail stick, and um, that gets me through in most situations. Can't get this back in now. Um, so I think we've gone through all of them. Adhesive sheets, I just showed you. Fine tip pen, I showed you. Liquid glue, we did. Mini dots, mini glue dots, tear and tape. Stamp and seal, stamp and seal plus. Oh, I didn't show you the silicone craft sheet. This is just a little silicone sheet that if you're working on something with adhesives and you don't want to get your surface messy, you can work on here and then it will just peel off here. This won't absorb any glue or anything. Whatever glue you use will just either rub off or peel off. So this is a great surface if you don't want to get your surface that you're working on messy. So I would recommend one of those. Um, phone adhesive strips we've done, stamping dimensionals we've done. I talked about black dimensionals, but I haven't got any to show you. Form adhesive strips. And then it's just the cling adhesive. I don't have any cling adhesive. This is the adhesive that you can use to put on the back of your stamps to help them cling to the clear blocks. Um, I tend not to worry about putting any stickers or any cling on the back of mine. I find they cling to the blocks fine without it. And it's just another job to do. So I tend not to do that. Um, but if you do like stickers on your stamps and you're finding that some of your earlier ones before they brought out the stamps with cling, um, they were look called clear mount. And some of those didn't like to stick very well. So you can buy some cling adhesive and convert your clear mount stamps to cling. 
So anyway, that's a quick run through. Not the most exciting topic in the world, but very important if you're a paper crafter because you do want to get the right glues to make your projects look professional and well made. Right, let's see if this adhesive has, has stuck. Mm, no, I can still pull it apart actually. Okay, that still came apart quite easily. So I don't know, I'm gonna leave it and see how long it takes for that to really set. And this one, let's see what's this, this is the stamping seal. And again, that's coming apart quite easily. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, like I say, I don't use them. Some people swear by them, some people use them all the time. So like I use the Tombow, some people use the, the tape runners all the time. Like I say, I don't, um, so I'm not the person to ask about those, I'm afraid. So anyway, that's me for today, all on page 162. If you want to ask me any questions, just drop me a line. I'm always happy to answer questions about things. Um, but I hope you're finding all this um, helpful. We've talked about inks, we've talked about um, cardstock, I think. Did we do cardstock? Um, what else have we talked about? Stamps, different types of stamps. So we're working through everything in the catalogue, so you'll have a really clear idea of what's, um, what's going on and what you might need to order hopefully. So this is the 2021 annual catalogue. Mine's getting a bit battered around now. If you'd like a copy, please let me know. I'll happily pop one in the post to you if you don't already have a demonstrator. But that's it from me today. Take care and I will be back soon. I'll be back with more projects this week and another card making for beginners video next Tuesday. Bye for now. Have a good week.